Where our army leaves, the Count of Stirling appears, a man surely destined for mediocrity. He had deigned it fit to attack the Dark Kitchen, the former homeland of the Halflings. His onslaught involved a provincial patrol led by a local necromancer, recruited by the Von Karsteins, and his magic proved futile in the face of that man's faith. Much to his relief, his enemy was not Lydia Von Karstein and the new Von Karsteins who follow her, including a legendary necromancer named Frederick Van Hell. He was the progenitor of the famous Van Hell family of witch hunters and was a priest of more in his early days. One act of necromancy was all that was needed to taint his spirit. Now he serves with Lydia in her quest to break the Empire, but before man can be handled, their stouter southern friends needed to be contended with. The dwarves of Jufbar made their presence known, and our undead armies marched into the mountains, leaving behind desiccated bodies and open graves of their kindred. Their book of grudges will be left in the shadows to rot. Hey everyone, I'm back now. I had some PC issues, but here's the first of many episodes coming out. I have another campaign planned, and it coming out just depends if all of you enjoyed this one, of course. I also plan on streaming on Monday, so don't forget to swing on by and say hey. I also plan on putting out edited content from my streams once I have that figured out. Whether or not it'll be on this channel or another one is up in the air, but I will let you know. Alright, what else? Don't forget to check out the mod list for the series down below. I'll refine it more and more with each subsequent campaign. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. The Von Karsteins have many plans around here. Currently, we have to get ready to expand our military. Now, we have over here Henrik. He's going to get many new powerful units. I want him for now to pick up Chaos Dwarfs. I want four total, four groups total. That should be a decent number. Now, I've got my zombies. I've got my skeleton warriors, which are just okay. Here, take one Sylvanian Levy for fun. Some skeleton reapers too. We'll take four of them. That's even more armor piercing. Now, I could get rid of that Levy group then pick up two groups of Grave Guard. They're not too expensive for me. In time, we are going to need new agents. I'm not sure what we're going to have just yet. Wait, I can make custom agents? You're kidding me. In the past, you can only make a custom lord, but if they let me make an agent, I would love that a lot. All right. I like where you're going with that. Okay, okay. Well, I'll think about it. A good necromancer could help out quite a bit, so we might end up having quite a few more, you know, custom characters in here. Now it's time for Lydia von Karstein, Conrad, Frederick, and naturally, Whispering Nell, or unnaturally. Let's come over here. It's going to be an easy battle, I think. Here's our army moving forward right now. Frederick is up there. We've got Conrad and Whispering Nell potentially having a quiet conversation as we're continuing to advance towards Sterling. We're marching out. They caught us as we were marching, and now they're going to have to endure what we have here. We've got Chaos Dwarves with a lot of armor-piercing damage. We've got Vargeis as well. What can they do against what we have today? Now, let's have a look at their formation, what they have over here. Oh! Are you really on a flying mount right now? Good for you, Divine Man. Pious fool. So, he's got a lot of archers. We're looking at some standard units, too. It's been incredible how grim it's been just to watch what's happening. Ah, there we go. We're dealing some damage to him, some magical damage as he's trying to move in as well to attack us, which seems like a foolhardy gesture, but if it's what he wants to do, I'm not going to tell him no, but there he is right now. I do miss your hammers. It helped him stand out quite a bit, but now here comes the army. Come check out the charge now. They're all charging in, trying their best to, I don't know, try to scratch out some victory here. Their banner carrier charged in and died immediately. Now we're summoning in many different undead minions to help out. Zombies are rising up from the ground. You've got over a thousand years of battles being waged in one area. There's bound to be bodies everywhere, no matter where you go. But here's our battle line right now. The Var guys are just moving around and waiting. They're finding their right target to go after. There's Lydia over to our right. The Var guys are now moving in. Spears are not. No anti-large is going to help them we'll be able to take them down with what we have today. And over here, we've got our mini Blood Knights. They're moving in, and look at how majestic they look, how terrifying they are. Even if Blood Knights 
aesthetically do not look unnerving. Their ferocity, their capability for violence is enough to put fear into the heart of any man. So here they are charging in after some archers. And those archers, well, they're going to have what's called a bad day. And beyond that, the Var guys are over here just having a little dance party. You see, they're not actually trying to kill, they're just dancing, but unfortunately, their foes do not really appreciate fine art, okay? That's why they're dying. They're too uncultured. They're uncultured swine. And look at that tide just begin to push right through them. They have no choice but to fall. Zombies alone are sufficient for them. Albrecht, go home. You're not wanted here. You serve your sire, that you do. And so everyone is moving into positions while they're breaking. They were always going to break. The battle is over. We have won, and now it's time to move on. You can see what's going to happen to anyone who dares to challenge the vampire counts of Sylvania. Now, let's go. The battle was won. We gained a giant blade. Well, how about that? We'll take some replenishment. It was a very easy battle. They couldn't do much. There is no option for them to do anything at all, really. Oh, that's a lot of damage. A bonus when fighting infantry up by 10. Weapon strength up by 15%. Imagine doing anything 15% better. That's pretty darn sweet. Okay, here's a new trait gained. Bold was personally involved in combat during battles. Yeah, no kidding. Every bit of combat she's involved in. So they were pushed back. Over here is Conrad. Now, Conrad... I'll give you one bat short of a bell fry. Conrad is a terrible sight, a bloodthirsty whirlwind of rage pushing his minions forward. However, when in this state, Conrad was also prone to excessive feeding and would sometimes stop in the middle of a battle to lick clean his armor and sword or drink from fallen enemies. So we'll lose some magic, but look at that. We get a passive ability or melee attack, physical resistance. However, we could be shot. He could engage in a rampage. Let him do that. It's what he's meant to do. It adds some flavor to what we're doing together. I'm going to wait for my zombie dragon. I don't want to waste points on previous steeds until I get what I truly want. Here we go, Wind of Death. I know a few people have been wanting me to pick that up. Don't worry, I was getting there. All right, now, over here, get your weapon strength up, okay? Now, you've got your blade. I'm not going to give you a new talisman. Gravedigger, sure. A treasurer, why not? You can hold on to it. Now, what about Lydia? There we go. A giant blade. She's got it now. Nell is okay, too. You know what? Maybe I want you to be shielded against magic. Maybe I don't want magic impacting you. There. Gravedigger again. That's going to stack up over time. A scroll of blast. Take that for some more damage whenever we get into battle. So, let's come back to the dark kitchen. Oh, your manager is back. Your kitchen manager is back here to say hello. We didn't lose an area unit. Now we've got it. Of course, we've got to build it back up again. And that shall take a moment, but we'll certainly work on it. Let's see, they are nourished. Export food. Yeah. Provide some food. We'll come back into battle in just a moment. But we've done a decent amount of damage to our foes. I even got more dark magic. So we're feeling better. We're looking better. We're not going to hold on to Jufbar. I was going to rename it, but we're not going to hold on to it. So let them keep their name for right now. Now we're going after Sterling because I have no choice. They came to bother me. There's our rebellion now. And that's okay. Let them rebel. I really don't mind. In fact, anything to provide a roadblock to the dwarfs out there. So we've got three blood kisses. I want three more. We're going down the Von Karstein line for our bloodlines, so we can wait on that. We're bound to have another rebellion over here in Templehof, which I do not very much care for. Let's have a look. I'm currently building up a new army. We're looking at skeleton reapers. We've got Graveguard. I won't have any agents over here. Then we'll probably save up a little bit. I'll save up a bit more dark magic to help out when it comes to getting a new custom lord. So we'll do that in just a moment. Now, when it comes to the dark kitchen... Oh, upgrading you. It's not cheap. I know. We'll be back. There's bound to be another rebellion. Let's move over here. This night, Because we're just going to go after what they have. If we lose it, sure, let it happen. But 
but now I feel like I need to dive right in, so that's what we're going to do currently. Here comes the green skin tides now. It doesn't truly interest Conrad nor Lydia if we're able to hold on to Jufbar. Surely, it is a hold of wonder and technological innovations. However, we have other ambitions for now. If anything, we can come back. Let the Greenskins have their fun. Again, if they can provide a roadblock for the dwarves, that would only benefit our current goals, which is to conquer the Empire. Let the rats, let the vermin, let the Greenskins and dwarves all have their homes over in these hidden mountains. It doesn't truly bother us. You can see here that we have hundreds of bodies ready to defend. Literal bodies, not living beings. There is not a sentient being here outside of the necromancer that commands this hold. It is only a small garrison, for we cannot afford to draw any of our strength from our primary objectives. You can see the lights dim. You can see the lights brighten. It's truly an interesting location. And it's no wonder the dwarves were able to hold it for so long. There are powerful walls here. There are narrow roads. It's an ideal location for those that are stout, short, and strong. It looks like they are going to break through. The front gate was quickly broken by the Greenskin group. I can't say a horde. They don't have the numbers for that just yet. But let them take it for now. We have much to do so we can move on in our campaign and see what must be done. They told me to zog off. I suppose I will. Grumlock and Gazbag. What a name. Yeah, let them have a good time over there. I'm gonna be over here. So Jean de Freyze, and we've got Albrecht von Marionette. Two new characters who have come to join us. Henrik, well, he's gone now. He met an unfortunate demise. It's strange how you can easily fall from the walls of a city. Now, over here we have a pretty standard army. And I think right now I would like for him to move into a new position. We need to guard other areas. Let's come over here. The Necromancer shall follow. Now, Jean is quite powerful. Before I go out to attack, we'll come back to the Dark Kitchen. I don't know where Sterling is at, but they love to take over these lands whenever I'm not looking. Now, I did use some dark magic to get some rather powerful characters in. Like over here, he's got strong, giving him more armor, melee attack, weapon strength. He's well-founded, again, more armor and weapon strength. He's bird-brained, so it does cost more in order for him to recruit units, but he's a weapon master too. And over here for Albrecht, who will join his army in like one or two more turns, he is observant. And he's all about training up that army. He's also got a lot of magic power, as you can see over here, though he's got no charge bonus. If he runs into you, it's like being hit by a wet noodle, but that's okay, he's all about magic. He'll be quite handy for that role alone. Here's a power stone. Maybe you'll need it. <laughs> I could give you an item. Sure. It won't hurt. It won't harm anyone. Yeah, there we go. So he's going to be a good trainer. And he's got a lot of magic to help out with. So those two should be quite good to have together. Because if we have a look at it again, the guy is just not good at magic. Look at that. Winds of magic. Power reserve down by 16. So whenever you create a custom character... You can spend more dark magic or currency in order to get better stats. In my case, I just allocated a few stats in different locations. And over here, you've got traits. You begin with only two trait points, but you can take like negative effects in order to get more trait points, which is very cool. It's a great way to have a pretty specialized character. All right, now let's end our turn and see if our enemies are going to say hello. But now we've got two armies over here. Oh, before we even do that, though, Conrad. You need, for now, the capability to strike terror into the enemy's heart. Yeah, make their hearts stop. Now for you, Frederick. You don't have Curse of Years. Ah, here we go. Legendary Necromancer of Sylvania. 15 more Winds of Magic Power Reserve, Magical Attacks, and a higher capacity for Necromancers. Very good. Ostermark has been met with an unfortunate demise. What a pity. All right. So now, Albrecht, you can come join us right over here. Let's go. It'll take him one more turn, but that's okay again because I wanted to guard our lands for now. It's all going to work out. It's a good thing that they're waiting over here. Lydia, I could have you wait, but you're not very good at ambushing, nor is there a lot of land for you to ambush from. So come over here for now. For now, sure. 
we can wait there. Later, we'll move again. In fact, I could have these two armies move together. One could go after Needling, the other after Wurtbad, and have a look up north. The Wood Elves are moving. Kislev is moving. We'll have to go say hello. And I do love to give a housewarming party. That's true. Let's have a look at our lands right now. I think they're doing mostly fine. Yeah, there's a few issues, sure, but they're doing mostly fine. Even the Dark Kitchen is holding up right now. That corruption needs to go up. Let's see, for technology, we've got our rituals. Now we're working on spreading our vampire covens. Now, that's what we want to do because we want to have more corruption. I need more corruption if we're to do well. And of course, I don't have to mention our provincial patrols. They're going to hopefully keep any minor powers away from us. So now let's get ready for a new turn. I think our neighbors are becoming much, much more powerful. But that's okay. We've got more to do. Grumlock is an orc, the leader of the Blood Sun Boys, who is always with the Night Goblin Shaman Gazbag. The two are known companions and balance each other out, producing a much more violent and capable pair of greenskins. And here they are right now attacking my patrol. Hopefully we can stop them. Now let's go over the battle and see... What's going to happen here? So, I did want to keep their leaders busy, if possible. I brought in my spirit host, but they're quickly destroying them. Have a look at those two. They're very intimidating and very powerful. They've got spell casting and martial might on their side. So you're not dealing with only one, but two. It's a two in one deal. Now, let's have a look over here. My knights and my fell bats are going after forest goblin spider riders. Hopefully, they can do a pretty decent job at stopping them. But unfortunately, these two, Grumlock and Gazbag, are coming on over. So I'm in trouble. Oh, I hate that combo. Now, let's go back over here. So I'm having to use my Invocation of Nahek to keep my units going. Like my Crypt Horrors, who are really just one of my more elite units that I have right now. So they need to do well. If they do not, I'm done for. So here we go, we've got Crypt Horrors fighting trolls right now. One troll, not really sure what to do. Being attacked by one Headless Spearman. Wonderful armor, by the way, on my Spearman. I like it. Now, let's keep on looking. So over here is where I'm also trying to flank my enemies. And so far it's going fairly well. I've got Crypt Ghouls, I've got zombies fighting together. We're trying to get rid of Squigs. Spearmen too, Goblin Spearmen at that. They're a tough lot, so we're having to do what we can to stop them. And right now, they're being buffed up by Grumlock and Gazbag's Wa. That makes them a bit more powerful. They're at over 60 destroyed units. Back over here, we're still moving around. I've got Skeleton Warriors going after Goblin Archers. And I've also got my Dire Wolves over here attacking some Goblins, which is not a great choice, but they just kind of got intercepted. Now over here is where we've got a Squig Herd, only 17 you know, kills total, which is not too good. Not too great. The trolls are still fighting. We're having to keep them busy. My Crypt Horrors can only do so much. One kill for that group. Only one kill. Hopefully it's one troll. We've got our Master Necromancer who's still holding close by. I'm having him use his Invocation of Nehek to heal things up. Oh, another spell again. They constantly like to use that spell to break up my units. Going after my poor Black Knights who are having to ride away right now. 18 kills total. We've got some fell Bats close by. They're flying around at the moment. Things are brutal. Things are grim. Okay. Let's go back into a more cinematic view right now. The knights are moving back in. It was a battle that I could have auto-resolved. And even though we outnumbered them, they have such a powerful leader in their group, or leaders, that it's going to be a tough one. And hopefully, we can scrape out a good win so that we're not having to come back over here. My Crypt Horrors are now moving around. We're coming over here to finish off with these goblins. At the very least, they are only goblins. And of course, goblins can still challenge my poor units. My poor units are only okay. They're not great. But have a look at this battle, this visual spectacle. I've got Crypt Horrors now moving in. The Wham Bam. Thank you, Ma'am Gang. It's a mouthful, especially for the goblins. Hey, got him. All right, so we're currently crashing right through them right now. Oh, there goes a few. Who knew that goblins could fly? I'm learning new stuff about them all the time. We've got a few fell bats left. Their leader has yet to come over here, but they're beginning to move slowly but surely. 
Oh, they're so strong. I hate them a lot. Let's go back over here and check things out real quick. So those trolls are still attacking one weakened group of my skeletons. <laughs> Kick. Very effective. It's classic. It's a good one. They kick like a freaking heavyweight in the UFC. Just a little slight movement of the leg. There we go. But it's devastating. It's a big meaty leg. All right, so we're back over here. They're just trotting right through a bunch of goblins. The fell bats are taking flight again. And the units are once again moving. I'm having them all move after those trolls. I want those trolls gone. We have lost so many units, but unfortunately, have a look at what's coming. They're charging right in right now. It's not good. It's not good for me. It doesn't matter if we lose the entire army as long as we win in the very end. That's all that truly matters to me right now. If we're able to do that, we're in a good position. If we can't do that, that's an issue for us. Look at that. They're using more magic to try to rupture our formation and how strong they are. They're just able to stand here for so long, continuing to attack constantly. And oh, is that your little friend? You know, Dan, the, the uh, dwarf here, <laughs> just chatting away. Oh, any dwarf would be angered to see that. It almost angers me to see it. I'm just going to wear a dwarf's head and beard on my back. Why not? But they're fighting right now, and we've got them surrounded, so it shall take some time to beat them down. If we have a look at what we have here, we're in a bad position. They summoned in some type of officer, a nice beefy orc. He's also been a thorn on my side, a very painful thorn. I mean, look at that. They're challenging creatures twice their size, and they just don't care. They're like green honey badgers. They don't give a damn. And so now we're just going to really just stand here and fight. And my goal is to make them shatter or to do something to get them away from me. I've had to spend my entire time and my entire army trying to take down only two greenskins. Well, three. They have that Max dead to fellow. Let's have a look over here. So we're very close to winning, but we just need to take them out. They've taken out nearly 600 of my undead. Back's dead tooth over here, nearly 200, but we did finally win, it seems. They're beginning to move away, but they've taken so much damage, they're finally beginning to falter. I knew that I had to get rid of them. I knew that I had to chase them down and do something to ensure that they wouldn't come back anytime soon. What an army. If I didn't have that patrol, my life would be so much more challenging right now, or my unlife, I should say. But we did win, they are shattered, and we have finally won. It is time to move on. That battle was not easy at all. We lost a lot there. 581 taken out by Grumlock and Gazbag. Thankfully, we did get them. Oh. Huh. They must have summoned in a hero. I understand. Well... Let's save what we can. Thankfully, that was only my patrol and not one of my armies. Though one of my armies might have had an easier time. Though I'm not too sure, actually. They were so strong. League of Ostermark. Interesting. Well, they're back now. They've been brought back by potentially a neighbor or someone. Oh, look at that. Artois and Musion. They're now fighting. Killed. Oh, trust me, I do understand. So now that patrol needs to replenish, and we'll have to go back and get rid of them. Very well. Look at me having to wander to and fro. Not my favorite thing to do. So I could go over to Wurtbag. That's option number one. I could come right over here and say, ah, hello. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go after their capital. Oh, they've got quite a few soldiers over here. No, we should do it. I've got to, I think. So we'll take all of that over there in one turn. If they would like to attack me, they can. They're allowed to. But that should give me a moment of reprieve. Now we could go after Needling. It would take me two turns to get there. Option number two, we'd go take out the Greenskins. That poor Necromancer. He's like, come on, I just got here. What are you doing, man? Look, you've got to huff it, okay? I don't have some dark uber for you to take. There we go. At least you're in his army, so now you can begin to train them. A fully elite army is gonna make a huge difference over there. So we've got some magic, though I'm not making that much right now. I could put them in charge of trying to take over over here. Huglug, what a name. I love that name, actually. Huglug. 
the orc. Now. Oh, Kimler, you're not doing very well. We're somehow holding on at the moment. I think our neighbors are going to be much more of a threat than, you know, a little bounce bar is going to indicate. Skali Kandum. Very optimistic dwarf. So now let's hold on and get ready for another fight over here. They've got one patrol. They've got their garrison too. So it should be a fun, fun battle. And now we've got to fight Sterling again. It feels like it's going to be a challenging battle just due to the numbers that they have. They challenge me when it comes to that. We're still very early on in the game and we're slowly getting better units. I think by another part we'll have a bunch of Sylvanian archers and that'll be nice. Pistoliers are a huge pain to fight for any type of undead faction. They can move quickly, they can shoot well, they can do a lot of damage. So there's their army. Now what am I doing right now? It's pretty simple. I'm moving out my Blood Knights and my Barn guys. We are going to have to chase down those Pistoliers and waste their ammo. Now. That could really seem to be counterproductive. However, I've got Invocation of Nahek, which I use quite a bit, and we'll be able to heal up any barn guys that have taken some damage. We've got Chaos Dwarves. We've got Living Levies. It all feels so natural, as if it should be part of the base Vampire Counts faction. I believe it should be. These look great to me. I would love to have any type of, you know, corpse here to be used by the undead where it's possible. So here we go again, and look at that. I'm using a Wind of Death. Let them take some damage today. If you've been waiting to see that, there it is. They took a lot of damage, and now we're charging in. We've got zombies moving in too. Everyone is coming to say, ah, hello there. So let's see how that battle's gonna play out for them. We've got over here some Chaos Dwarves fighting, these Sterling soldiers fighting as well. What more do we have? Let's see. I've got that Ring of Blasting, or whatever it's called, or Whispering Nell, and she's using her Ghostly Howl to deal even more damage to them. She's like snapping necks over here, just killing these poor handgunners. And I did add a modification to add in reloading animations. It's so strange to not have that by default. You've got to have that. It adds in so much to the feeling of using handgunners. And over here, we're charging in. Our Chaos Dwarves are again attacking another group of Spearmen, so if we zoom out and have a good look, their reinforcements should arrive over here in time, but we've got time for now to interact. So I'm moving around, I'm keeping busy at the moment, I'm going to flank a few more units, those Pistoliers we can't quite chase yet, we're going after more Archers, keeping them busy and or destroyed. And here's where we're going to see Conrad go crazy. Not only Conrad, but the good dark lady Lydia too. Look at these three just fighting together. There's a large space here for a reason. So many people have been killed. Conrad knows how to kill. He's just walking through. Pardon me. Just cutting right through. Excuse me. He's actually very polite as he's killing people. I need to get ahead. Just cutting off heads. So over here, we've got another group. They're holding, they're trying to hold at the very least. We've got these spearmen, they only have a few kills. I've got armor piercing damage, and we're also stronger than them, though they do have 42 for melee defense, I have only 27, so there is a difference in quality. Trust me, if you let the AI take control of your own army, you'll see how poorly you'll perform. It's all about how well you perform as a commander. Oh, only a few archers left. We're still chasing after a few units on the map because they're quite annoying. And as you can see, we're taking some damage, but that's all right. My bar guys have quite a bit of weapon strength. Lydia, over 600. Conrad, whenever he's using all of his buffs, gets over 900 weapon strength. And as a hero, that is outstanding. All right, so we're at 29 kills. They're at 10 kills. Their higher melee defense is not doing too much for them. We're just that much stronger. Back over here, they do have a General of the Empire who's fighting a group of my zombies. Oh, good luck. You're just getting tired. Come on, you geriatric. What are you doing? I don't know what he's doing right now. I think making bad choices, really. Yeah, I think he's making bad choices. That seems to be it. Look at him go. That's one way to spend your day. All right, now. Hey, man. Those used to be your taxpayers. So over here, we've got another army on the way. A large one. It's not a small one at all. It's a very large army. So let's have a look real quick. We're over here. They've got how many? 2,700. They outnumber me. 
I'm the undead faction, and they outnumber me. So, over here, bar guys again. They've got 32 kills, they're helping out. I usually try to take out what I can of their specialized or more mobile units. Uh, not Gundams, not Zakus, just mobile units. And then I bring them back onto the main enemy line. So back over here, we've got Whispering Nell. She's got over 60 kills. Now I wonder, how many kills does Conrad have? Let's see, Lydia, she's got, oh, Conrad only 62, Lydia 51. They'll get more as we go along. My poor zombies are torn apart, but that's okay. So now we're getting ready for a new battle right over here. And we've got to go after so many different archers. Now, what else is going on? We're still chasing pistoliers, and they have a few kills, sure. My blood knights are still going. They have over 100 kills. But trust me, once they get back into the main enemy line, things are going to change up. So we're outnumbered right now. They're going to overrun us if we're not careful. And I'm not careful, so let's go. Let's see. What can we do? Their armies getting together. Let's watch it all play out now. They're charging in. Fight my grave guard. Do it. It's been a lot of fun. Have you noticed how much slower it is for me to conquer? It's largely because of population and other factors that I have now. And I like that so much more. It feels like I really need to fight over these lands. I can be more powerful, but I still have to be careful on how I fight over these lands. And how gorgeous are these battles, by the way? I can't believe how good they look. It's incredible what modders are able to do and what you're able to do to make the game look like it's just current year, you know? Oh, no more banner for you, pal. We haven't really watched my Reapers very much, have we? No, we've not. We've not done that. Now, let's zoom back out real quick and have a look. So, my Blood Knights are going after those Pistoliers. They finally caught them. And they're dead. My Blood Knights are key to victory. They are always my key to victory. They are so damn powerful. My Vargais are now moving in, going after Archers. It doesn't matter what damage they've taken. It only takes a few. Go on, my lovelies. Have a fun time. Have brunch. Back over here, they're just moving around. So if we have a look at where I'm struggling, it's right over here right now. My line is a little bit light. They've got a lot of different units, and we're having to watch out for a bunch of Chaos Dwarfs again. But that's okay. Chaos Dwarfs? Ha! <laughs> dwarfs. Skeleton Dwarfs. I've got Chaos Dwarfs on the mine, man. I just want one of their hats, okay? So we are outnumbered over here, and they are beating right through our lines. But that's okay. We'll eventually make it back over here. They do have one general also helping out. And Lydia is here too. And you can also see that I've got my bar guys moving in. And my Blood Knights are also moving in too. So they're going to have a good time. We've got my levies reinforcing my lines. I just need my lines to hold on for now. Let them hold on. We come back over here and we can see what's going to happen. Immediately like freaking bowling pins. They're knocked down. So they're going to have a fun and easy affair just destroying all of these different units right now. The Blood Knights have nearly 200 kills. Where's Conrad? Where's Connie? There's Lydia. I know where Lydia is at, okay. We've got Nell. We're also moving over on the right. They've got a General of the Empire. We're about to beat him. It's been some long, incredible battles. We've got our flesh-stripped soldiers who are holding on right now. We had a ring of blasting or whatever it's called shooting right through them. That's a item that I gave over to Nell. There we go, Conrad. Nearly 200 kills. Look at that. He's at over 600 weapon strength right now. And again, when he's buffed up, he gets even more. But wait, there's more. And so... Conrad von Karstein cuts through the enemy today. That would be my vampire narration voice. <laughs> I would like a number two with a small fry. That's how I order food, too. So, let's have a look over here. The Blood Knights of our guys together. They're winning. They're beating the enemy. And back over on my line. We're holding well. We're holding just all right. We're doing okay. So what is actually happening right now? Look at what I've done. I've cut off 
all of their damage dealing units. There's like, what, one group of archers left? I'll go get them later. So I'm gonna bring my bar guys right over here to help out Nell. We want to focus on where we're weak right now. That way we can quickly get through them and help out elsewhere. They might have spears, but all of that charge damage, all that damage all together is gonna either cause them to break or just kill so many, they'll have to leave. If we zoom out and have a look, look at that now. They're falling apart. They're not doing well. We're holding over here. They might even break soon. I've got my flesh stripped soldiers who have taken all that damage. They're going to have to pull back very soon. So I'm just taking my time fighting. I did not expect to go after the blasted Sterlinders, but I had to. Undead Hussars over here. They're fighting. Dismounted and quite powerful. I've got my skeleton warriors also holding too, fighting more spearmen. It's crazy how many they have, how long we've been here having to wait for them to fall in battle, but that's okay, we'll take care of it. We've got it all under control. My blood knights are now charging again, going after more spearmen. We've got bar guys over here who are just making quick, quick work of them. And now we have won the battle. They are all breaking. We have done it, my friends. Conrad has over 200 kills and they all get to flee today. Goodbye now, we have won and we can take their capital. Now that was a tremendous battle. We beat them. I got a bit concerned for a bit. I had no idea how many of my blood knights would kill, but over 600 is a lot. Conrad went crazy too, as he well should. All right, now we need to replenish. We need to be able to do that. That way we can take over what we want. So we killed Magnus and we killed some province patrol commander. See, patrols even help them out. Oh, here's another army. Right over there. Take her lands? Sure. Let them be angered. I don't really mind. Now we could try to make it back there in time. Albrick, you're always hiding. Have a look at that. There's my patrol moving. It's close. It's pretty close. Okay. I've got to finish off what we have over here. Otherwise, they're going to annoy us constantly. So I've got to do that right now. Let's go. Now you're gone. We did lose a lot, but hey, that's all right. I can replenish a little bit. What else do we need? We could go back to replenish. We should. Let's do that now. All right. You'll be fine in one turn. Now you're rank two. You need to be able to move further. Albrecht? Scouting? No. Invocation? Sure. Take that. Use your magic. All right then, let's go back over here. Hopefully that patrol will intercept what they have and not even defeat them, but annoy them. Now I could bring in more blood knights. It won't be cheap though if I do that. Instead, I would like to upgrade what I'm able to. Right over here, Sylvanian archers. Oh, a new type of unit. That sounds really good. Let's take that. It's our kitchen, a corpse pile. Kill. That's okay, take what you want. I'm coming after your capital. Now I could give her that bloody stone tablet. She'll be able to move further. Vigor, I gave her seduction. Oh, that debuffs so many different enemies. Bestial force. I like that, we'll take it. All right, now for now, what am I gonna give you? Unkillable, no kidding, more armor, magic resistance. Sure, take that. Yeah, she's got a lot of great things over here. We'll be able to hurt the dwarves more. The beginning of a nightmare. Summons a unit of tomb banshees. Wow. And a hex over here to debuff our enemy's speed. It's all good. It's all very good. All right. We'll take what we can get. You know what? We're going to occupy it. It belongs to me now. We'll need new names for every new location that we take. Sure, we've got to replenish, but that's okay. We're going to have a good time here. And look at that, new levels. Now what else am I gonna give you? Benevolent Overlord. Oh, it's a great one. It is a great one. She's got so many good abilities over here. Heir of Von Karstein, Heir of Lamian, Heir of Strigoi, we'll go over those later. But for now, I think what I'll give her is Vigor. She doesn't need a lot of HP yet. Now when she has a dragon, sure, she'll be even beefier after that. Okay, for you, my friend. Not until rank 15 can you pick up that one. All right, fine, fine, very good. 
Take more melee defense. Now, Frederick, what do you need? Conquest of Empire. We are fighting the Empire. I could bring up more zombies, but no. Take that. He decided to punish the corrupt nobility of Sylvania that had abandoned its people to the plague. He became a necromancer, beginning his conquest of Sylvania, renaming himself Van Hel. There. All right. So now we have Wurtbad. It's only one location. There are some dwarves here. We could get rid of them. Let's do it. No dwarves for me, okay? I don't want those issues today. Let's end our turn now. We've got more to do. We might end up going after Jufpar and burning it down. Wait, Karagdramar was taken by Averland? Interesting. They're fighting Skaven then, right? They've got to be. Hold on, let me check on that. Oh, they're fighting so many factions. I don't want to ally them. That would be a bad idea, but they're here. They're fighting. They're doing something. What an interesting choice over here. That creature, that spirit, wants a non-aggression pact. You know what? I'll take it for now. We've got a deal here. Sure, we're not friends, but if they want to take over and plant a bunch of trees, let them. I'm going to be over here doing my thing. There are a lot of trees up there, though. I could see that. So now, what else can we do? The Prince of Nothing, or Fervor, we'll take that. It shall be Ash. All right, there goes my patrol. Just moving around. Now, Jean, you've got the power, right? You can burn down some orcs, some green skins over here. Whoa, it's way too much for you? Okay. It's actually great training, so I'm okay that we're over here. If anything, we could allow him to wait it out. I've got many options. Now again. Ooh, Tomb Banshees. I need it. I'm taking it. Belongs to me. So we're over here right now. Replenishment is an issue. So we need to be in a friendly province. Somehow, we're not in one. No, we need to do a bit more work, don't we? We do. We need more undead here. So we'll get a ghost fence right now. He moved back. I'm sure he'll be back. I don't know where he's at right now, but we'll have to watch out for him. Export food. Starving. Huh. No, we'll wait. Expel. I don't want too many dissidents right now because we would also get rid of men. The dwarves, we'll let them die, okay? Let them die. It'll take a bit, but we can manage it. So we need to hold on for right now. Public order. That's still going down. The dark kitchen also going down over there. Very well. Yeah, we need a lot more corruption. It's going down over here. Ah, faction issues. Understood. Well, I'll try to take care of it where I'm able to. All right? Henry Ugma. Well, I don't care about their fight. Nor these little missions. Those missions never do that much for you. All right, so we've got to wait over here for now. Oh, Musk. You've made my life a little bit more difficult. But it's great training for a low-level commander. It'll be a great way for him to become stronger. I don't really have much for him to pick up right now, do I? No. But take that. That too. Magic item drop chance. I take all that. That looks good to me. He's back again, and that's okay. No. We're going to be daring and crazy. I'm going to recruit some new units in just a little bit. But for now, I'm coming over to Flensburg. If I lose anything at all, that's okay. I'll get more units later on. No, we'll hold on to it. That belongs to me too. Don't worry about it. So now you have, what, one location. You better go conquer. I'll be back. I'll be back for you, okay? Food? Yeah, food wouldn't be bad. Population growth. We'll take food for now. All right, more levels again. We keep leveling up so quickly. So over here, more replenishment, cheaper crypt ghouls, crypt horrors, and handmaiden units. More melee attack when fighting against green skins. Just a lot of goodies over here. All right. Tablets of Strigoi are quite nice. So now I've got that one. What about you, Conrad? What do you need? An aura? Now, here we go. Last of the Von Karsteins. They're immune to psychology. Frenzy for Von Karstein bloodline lords, except Vlad and Isabella, all units in army. And enemy agents will not have a good time coming after him, so he's going to frenzy as well. I did combine my units over here, and now I'm going to pick up some levies, Sylvanian levies. That should do it. I don't know what Albrecht is going to do, but that's okay. And over here, we're just waiting. I'm going to wait them out, or instead I could just auto-resolve right now. Okay, good. We didn't lose a single unit. That's even better. Now we're going to burn down the entire hold. They're gone. The green skins did not make it very far. Then I wonder who's winning down over here. 
It's gotta be the dwarves. Oh wait, another faction? Really? No, it's only a rebel faction. None of them are doing quite well. They're having a very interesting time. So level three for you. Now, what could I give to you right now that would truly be beneficial? First off, you need the hunger. He's all about melee. He's quite violent. Rank three for you, the curse of undeath. We'll take that for now. I just want you to patch up our units in battle. So now we've got some help that we can bring along. It was a great way to train them up. Hopefully that little patrol will go after Obersteyer and help them out. I'm not going to spend any dark magic there just yet. And we shall see in time what's going to come of it. So we've gotten a lot done. We were able to train up a new army. Rank three, almost rank four. We were able to take two locations from Sterling, nearly three. They're in a bad position. So now we just need more time to actually build up the area. Keep in mind, we're dealing with population. We're also having to deal with corruption. So we can't expand nearly as quickly. You won't watch me conquer as much land in a short amount of time. I'll have to build up slowly, but we're doing it. Now we do need new names for our new holdings. We've got two new holdings and they are of a suitable climate. Now, I shall see all of you again very soon.